I can't figure out why at about 20 seconds it just stops recording and goes kooky crazy. So I thought, well, don't touch it for a bit. Let's just see if it does all this kookiness without me touching anything. My guess would be, mm, I must be touching something. What am I hitting? All right, let's try. So when you're using Flippity.net, I'm going to make an assumption that you tried the demo for the timeline. So let me kind of explain where things get a little wonky. So I'm going to click on template and I'm going to make a copy. Okay, so this assumes that this was the life of Mr. Rogers. It assumes you might know the month, the day, and the year. So make sure you get those in the right columns. A headline would be what would actually just show right up on the template itself. I'm sorry, on the slide, it's on the timeline itself, and then a short description. For example, the his guy was born on March 20th, 1928. The headline says birth, the description says his name. So let's see what that looked like on the demo. There's his birth, 1928, I click it. So the 20th of March, 1928, there's his birth and even had a slideshow. Where did that come from? Right here. So those are all the things you could do for each data journal entry. Let's go see what this one for red means here. For 1953, what was in 1953 that made it red? Oh, that little dot, that's all it is? Yep, just a little dot. So let's play with this template. So I've got some data here that I know about Lamar High School. So, I know that Lamar High School started in 1901. I don't have a month, so I'm just going to put 1901, and I'm going to clear this out. And the headline, Lamar High School opened. And maybe something like LHS opened in 1901, and I'll add a little more text there. So as you see, I'm just typing and I'm erasing things to make it match what I have. You know what? I think we could actually just stop right here and let you see what I have so far. So, get the link here. Same as before. Don't forget to publish your spreadsheet first. File, publish, publish, okay. Exit. And let's just click the link and see what we have. We have two things so far. If I click this one for Lamar High School, it still has Fred Rogers because I forgot to delete him. And again, the first graduating class. And I can again add more information. So let's go see what it looks like again back here. I'm on demo. Uh, we probably don't need Mr. Rogers' family story anymore. Okay. And let's go do another one. Let's go with in 1953. The agriculture business. Adding more, or if I want to, I can go look at the timeline again, hit refresh, and make sure it's looking like I want it to. So when I'm done with this timeline, what do I do? I give this to the students. Control C, copy, put it in Google Classroom. Now, if you wanted to get creative, you could put this in Google Classroom, have them fill it out, and make a timeline. But that is totally up to you.